See, this is so vital, so simple, so vital that if you do what I'm telling you today, what the Bible says, because all I'm doing is reading the scripture to you. If you will do this, you will be victorious. You will keep yourself and the wicked one will not touch you. He will not attach himself to you. Amen. But you actually have to do it. You can't just know it. Right. The devil loves Christians to know stuff they ain't doing. Why? Because, listen, whatever, whatever, okay, whatever you know, that level of problem is equal, okay? In other words, whatever you know, that level of problem to that point is allowed in your life. Not, not by God, okay? But understand what you know. Why? Because what you know, the, the, the enemy cometh immediately. So you learn truth. Immediately the wicked one comes to what? Steal that away from you. So when you learn something, you're actually saying as you learn, because you want to learn, and you're saying as I learn this, I know that a devil equal to this level of knowledge is going to be coming after this shortly. So you, you should know going into it. Every time you sit down, open your Bible, start to read, start to study, come to church to, to learn and grow, just know. However much you grow, that's how much bigger devil is going to be coming after what you learn. So you've got to be wise in this. You've, you've got to recognize this and not, not you've got to be sober minded to know how serious. And somebody, I've had somebody say, I just don't want to know no more. I'm, I don't, that's it. You know, but the, the beauty is what you're learning. Say, now, it, now understand, the Bible tells us that God's people are destroyed for the lack of knowledge. Now, if you go and read that, what it actually says is because you have rejected knowledge. So it wasn't knowledge you didn't have access to. It was, it was knowledge you had access to. You heard it, but you rejected it and didn't walk in it. See, when you hear something and don't walk in it, now you're in unbelief. Do you mean, how do you get into unbelief? Hear something and not do it. Hear truth and not do it. So when you hear truth, you should immediately do it. When you do that, you're walking in faith because you're doing the word, you're doing the truth. But when you hear truth and you don't do it, now you've moved into unbelief and that is where the enemy comes in especially. And not only does he come to steal that word that you heard because you ain't using it, he might as well take it. And so as soon as, you take, as soon as he takes that word from you, he comes to take that. And when he does, now you're in unbelief and you won't even resist him. And all you're doing is standing and crying, well, God, why are you letting this happen? He said, no, no, I told you, keep yourself. You hear, do. Learn, do. Why? Because when you learn, whatever you learn, the devil's coming after. See, he, that's what he does. You know, you don't throw a stake out in your backyard and not expect a dog or something else to come pick it up. Amen? And the stronger word you get, the more the devil wants to come steal it because he don't want you walking in it. And so you start to But now notice, there is nothing that you can face that with that problem that God has not made a way out, a way of escape. Now, that, now understand, that way of escape, that does not mean, because we use the word escape in, in English, it does not mean to escape in the sense of run away from in terror. That's not our job, that's the devil's job. See, we don't run away in terror. To escape means to get out from under that attack, which means to win that attack to win over it. Why? Because you're not called to be an undercover, undercomer, okay, but an overcomer. Does that make sense? So you are to overcome. So whatever comes to you, you, now listen, whatever you face, you have the access to the knowledge, to the power, whatever it is you need, you have access to that, to apply that to that situation, and you can overcome. There is nothing that you can face that God has not given you the knowledge, the wisdom, the power, whatever it is that you need to overcome it. Do you understand that? Yes. Now, the problem is when you're in the middle of the fight, it's sometimes a little harder to remember things that were told you a little while back. So sometimes you kind of forget that you have the information, information you need to win. And you're just all of a sudden now you're in your emotions going, oh, God, why me? Why this? What's happening? And he said, no, no, no. Think back. Remember what I told you last week? Remember what you heard last week? Now's the time to apply that. If you apply that, you will win. He always provides. God is, he's smart. God applies. God gives you the things you need before you need them because he knows what's coming. 
That's why when I first started teaching the DHT, I told people, I said, listen, if this message died out for 70 years and now God is resurrecting it and bringing it out, what does that mean? That means we're going to need this message. And lo and behold, 2020 came. And the people that were strong in this message are still strong today. Amen. They didn't shut down. They didn't run. They didn't do all that kind of stuff. And they didn't cave in. Amen. Amen. 